Hey there folks, it's Matthew Seville here and I just finished photographing a beautiful, actually wait, I didn't even get up for sunrise. I slept in and I got up after sunrise, like an hour after sunrise, and it was overcast and it was still very beautiful. Uh, I climbed up this hill here in the middle of nowhere on the coast of Northern California and I was photographing these uh, wildflowers here along this what appears to be a deer trail uh, and I thought I would take a moment to show you guys what I have in this. This is my go-to kit for uh, on-location landscape photography when I go to photograph, when I jump out of my sleeping bag in the morning and I get up to photograph a sunrise or when I'm scrambling to do whatever and photograph a sunset this little thing right here is all I need so let's check out what is inside it. Well, first of all, let's check out what is just outside it. On the out, it has two outside pouches. This, by the way, is the Low Pro uh, Lens Exchange, I think it's called. It doesn't have the name at the top, so I'm not going to worry about that. I think it's the Lens Exchange. It has two outside pouches, and then on the inside, it's got two interior pouches. You're supposed to be able to have, this is for like professional shooting environments where you have a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200, and you plop one in here, you pull the other one out, so it can hold two lenses, but zipped up, it's only made for one. So you can change lenses really quick. But what I do for landscape photography is, I simply use one compartment for my lenses and one compartment for my crap, just the random stuff that I need. Then, okay. Where were we? On the outside, there's two compartments on either side, and on one of them, I have my batteries. Camera battery, uh, sometimes a AA or a AAA if I need that. Um, cell phone battery, because I use my cell phone, as you probably already know, for a lot of astrophotography, sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset related stuff. So, and I also use it now as a uh, GPS logger and a GPS map because I downloaded a new app called uh, Backcountry Navigator. So anyways, I keep these batteries in the outside pouch. On the other side here, I have, uh, what do we have? Usually I have in here a flashlight and a Leatherman on the other side. I've got a body cap here just because uh, I was shooting and, and uh, I should put that back in my other bag. But all right, let's look at the rest of this outside here. What I've got is, these three filter pouches. These are called fish bombs. These are made by Undefined slash SLR Lounge. And you can get them on slrlounge.com. What I do is, well usually I have a black one and a blue one and maybe one other weird colored one. And what I do is, in the black pouch I put my ND filters and in the blue pouch I put a couple polarizers. That, so that they're color coordinated and it kind of makes sense in my head for what what I'm reaching for uh, you know uh, when I'm uh, shooting fast right now I have one black and then I've got a black and green and a, and a red and uh, usually what I have is a 77 millimeter polarizer a couple 77 millimeter neutral density filters usually a three stop and a 10 stop the three stop is for really slowing down. Uh, the ten stop is for really slowing down your shutter speed in broad daylight. The three stop is for really slowing down your shutter speed right around sunset or sunrise when you want that ten or whatever thirty second shutter speed, but your actual shutter speed is only like a half a second or something. So there's that. Um, so usually that's what, I'm up to three filters. Usually I carry another polarizer in a smaller lens size because I have a couple of lenses that are uh, not 77 millimeters and I have a step-up ring for the other. So that's two pouches worth of stuff right off the bat. Uh, in the other pouch here, I think I have a couple UV filters and I really only use those if I'm shooting in really bad weather and I want to seal up the camera a little bit more. Otherwise I leave the UV general protective filters at home and I just use my lens hoods instead. All right, let's have a look inside the uh, lens exchange here. What, what's really awesome is, one thing about it is that it's just super easy to take off and put on my backpack while I'm hiking 
during the rest of the day when we're backpacking, I will take this and attach it to the outside of my uh, regular backpacking backpack, or I can attach it to pretty much anything else. So that's why I really like this uh, for portability. What I do is, even though I'm, uh, even though I hate wearing a belt while I backpack, I still bring a belt so that I can put it on at sunrise and run off like this with it just like this on my belt. And then I take my belt off and just use, uh, you know, backpacking shorts or pants uh, while I'm actually backpacking. Okay, let's look inside. Of course, obviously, I've got the two lenses that I need for most of this kind of stuff. I have one ultra-wide lens, which is filming this right now. It's the Rokinon 14 millimeter. And then I have one other compact zoom. This is the Nikon 24 to 120 f4 VR. It's the newest 24 to 120 version, and I really love it. It's super sharp. I'm really only uses, using this thing at f11 or whatever, so I don't have to worry about corner sharpness and whatnot. I'm mainly just uh, using this as a walk around sunrise, sunset, traditional landscape lens. If I'm shooting astrophotography, I might trade out this lens for a 24 or a 35 millimeter f1.4 to complement the 14 millimeter, like I said, which is filming this. So, in usually I have my caps attached. By the way, uh, when I'm shooting landscapes, especially in bad weather or in dusty weather or anywhere, I always have my lens caps attached. They're not attached right now; they're in my pocket because I'm hoping to see a deer or something. Uh, here on this deer trail. Um, so we'll, we'll wait for that later. Um, beneath that I've got, here's the, the cap for the Rokinon. Beneath that I've got a gigantic lens cloth. This was uh, made by my awesome friend Tony Ching. So it's a custom, it's really big. Um, but I always carry a giant lens cloth just for wiping down if I get splashed by a wave. Or in general, I have a smaller lens cloth lens cloth in the other compartment for actually uh, touching off the lens, the glass elements. I also in here I have a lens pen which I use religiously in astrophotography conditions and uh, inclement weather landscape conditions in general. If it's dusty or rainy you're going to want the the uh, fluffy side or the uh, the wipey, the whatever side of this thing. What else do I have in here? On the side compartment got a couple cables. These are for my time-lapse uh, device, the Alpine Labs Radian. One for, uh, one for plugging it in so I can plug it in and program the time-lapse on my phone, and the other one to actually control the camera. What else do I have here? I've got a bubble level that allows me to level the uh, time-lapse device uh, and then put it back in my bag so it's not bumping around. And I've got a gel for gelling a flash. That's kind of left over from wedding photography, but I use it every now and then if I'm doing a selfie in the middle of nowhere, uh, landscape or adventure photography kind of, you know, stuff. Uh, I've also got a couple earplugs. That's also a carryover from me shooting wedding photography, but I leave it in here if I'm, I'm camping on the coast. Uh, sometimes the waves are actually pretty loud and I might want to put some earplugs in to sleep. Um, I've got a little roll of gaffer's tape. You never want to go anywhere without gaffer's tape. This is the Alpine Labs Micron. This is the teeniest, tiniest, time-lapse, uh, straightforward time-lapse trigger. I really love how it is uh, super compact. It requires the cable, obviously, to plug in, but that's pretty awesome. I've got a bag of uh, tripod screws and an Allen wrench to fix any of little stuff on the center column or the legs of the tripod. Um, I think that's about it. We have, oh, there went the, uh, good enough. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We have uh, pretty much covered it. This thing is definitely my go-to bag kit for run and gun on the go adventure landscape photography. I really love it. And I'm sure there's a few different kind of options out there. You can uh, check it out. This is my favorite, the Low Pro. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, catch you next time. Hey there, folks. It's Matthews, and there's a deer over there. I'm gonna take some pictures. Hold on. <laughs>